Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thanks for tapping into another episode of Trapping T-Shirts with your boy, Big Crooked. You know our motto over here. You ain't got to sell dope. Just sell dope shit. Hey, today we're going to be talking about designing the mug for sublimation. We will be using the Cricut software for this. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video so it can get bumped up in the algorithm. Hey, don't forget to comment and subscribe also. Uh, let's open up Cricut. We already got our design in here. Uh, you will have a couple of layers for this design. It's actually um, three layers for your design, depending on where your background is. It might only be two or, or one if you're using a solid picture. You just need to get it uh, into the right dimensions. You see those three red cups up there at the top? That's just to show you uh, the middle where you need to put your designs at. That's all that is. Basically, you're going to... Um, close the eye on that thing before you start printing uh, what you see in the back let's just ungroup it and then um, let's just see what everything is all right so like I said the red that you see in the background is just a guide for you to uh, put your designs where they need to go all right so you're going to uh, close open that back up that's just the wrap that's like the jimmy hat for your cup so your ink don't get onto your heat press or whatever you're using to do this mug you might be using a convection oven uh this is your background depending on what you're using this will be your background eventually i'm going to make this white because my background on this tutorial will be i mean on this mug will be white right now it's just gray so you can see it and then uh we got the actual background and if you see that gray square why i say it's going to be white because if you look at the weed leaves it's transparent behind it so if i want to change that gray to white then it's going to print gray and i don't want that and then uh last but not least well let's go on and uh minus this down right now to fit the background let's go into a range and bring it to the front and then let's get it over there see the size we got it at like eight and three quarters and then uh 3.79 all right so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hide them cups because i'm just gonna line mine up like i want to i just had it up there so you can see it because if you use design uh, design space just go into the uh templates and you'll find this mug template all right so let's get our uh, artwork opened up. Let's bring it to the front. You know we're going to have to make that a little smaller to get it up in there. So let's go ahead and shrink that down and let's get it over the top of the background. Alright. I like it like this but I guess I'll, I'll probably end up shrinking it a little bit more because you see how it's hanging off over there. Alright. Let's get it back into the parameters of this background. Yeah, I like it right there. For the time being. Let's uh, get the other artwork in here. And let's go back up to a range. And let's bring this one to the front too. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to shrink it down and then get it up there on the background. I think I'm gonna have to resize this one a little more so let's uh, go up here and hit this lock and unlock the proportion and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the width to 5 and then I'm gonna bring it over a little bit more and then I'm um, Let's move this and see what it looks like. We're going to have to shrink this one down a little bit more too. I could have did it and just had this done already and not went through this. But, you know, people need to see this type of stuff right here. Knowing that you got to resize stuff and move it around. So that's the reason we're going through this right here. 
But I'm cool with it though. I like doing this. All right. That look pretty good to me. I don't need that no more. Don't forget, that's just a wrap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten all this together. I know I hit a test, but we're gonna go back and flatten it to make sure that background is white. And then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go up to make it and we're gonna get this printed. All right, gang, this has been how to design a mug in the Cricut Design Space software. So uh, we're gonna get this thing printed and we're gonna uh, make this mug. So tune in to part two and see how the mugs get made. Don't forget to beat the cheeks off the notification bell so you can know when we do. Alright gang, until next time. Oh, fuck.